if, if I got to do this and do that. Do what you're doing, but in the midst of it, say a prayer. Spontaneously, just throw out a prayer out there. Don't set a time and say, well, God, I can only pray at this time, and I can only pray at this time. You see? Because that's a lie from the enemy. That's a lie from the enemy. When you start picking the times that you can pray and say that's the only time, that's a lie. Because, you see, you can take a moment and do a spontaneous, short, nice prayer from your heart right to God mm -hmm. while you're driving, while you're loading a truck, mm -hmm. while you're waiting for a bus, yeah. while you're waiting for the train. Mm -hmm. Instead of looking and saying, man, I'm running late, I'm running late. Yep. Just call out to the heavens. God, thank you for allowing me the opportunity to awaken. Because yeah. many of us rise up in the morning and we don't even say, God, thank you. We jump up, we running out, we brush our teeth, we throw on whenever we have to, and we have to hurry up. And then while we running or walking to the bus or driving to wherever we have to, we don't even get, get, give God thanks. We're focusing more on the time. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I'm going to be late, I'm going to be late, I'm going to be late. All that time you saying, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, just say thank you God, thank you God, thank you God. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to awaken. Thank you Heavenly Father for watching over my children. Thank you Heavenly Father for shielding and protecting me. Thank you Heavenly Father because you're going to get me to my destination safely. Amen. Instead of focusing on time and complaining, focus on God. And praising. See, that's what rejoicing always and praying continuously <coughs> consists of. This doesn't consist of you being on your knees. Well, the only time I can pray is if I have time to get on my knees. Amen. When you're at work, you don't have time to get on your knees and pray. Because when lunchtime comes, you're thinking about eating. Mm -hmm. You ain't thinking about praying. Fifteen minutes before lunch, you're already thinking about what you're going to have for lunch. God has to be the focus and the center of our life. Amen. Not only when we need something. Because it is better to serve Him when we don't need Amen. than when we need. If we learn to serve them when we have, when we don't have, we'll learn to praise them because He will give us sufficient. Glory be to God. He will provide. Yes, all the time. Hallelujah. Time is coming to an end. And God is seeking true worshipers. Amen. True worshipers. We got to learn to serve God spontaneously at the moment. And we got to be thankful because His presence is always with us. Always. No matter where you find yourself, God's presence will be available to you. Just like that. Serving Christ isn't easy. It truly isn't. But it is worth it. It is worth it. The other day, my wife and I were sitting there, we was talking, and well, two, two of the children were there. And we just started talking, and we were just talking of, you know, uh, um, Talking more, a little bit more about my family. You know, one of my brothers, he's no longer here. May, may he continue to rest in peace. But um, like, like the craziness, because we were, we didn't serve God like that. But but we started talking and, and we laughing and we joking of of, of of the past. But we we can joke and laugh at it because we knew no better then. But when I look at myself now and I compare myself to then. I say, God, thank you. Amen. Thank you. Because, see, sometimes we think the fast life is the right life. Yeah. We feel, hey, listen, you know, when I was in the world, I did this and this and this and this, and I had this and this and this and that. Mm -hmm. 
But that compares to nothing that I have now. The joy, peace, and love that God has instilled in me compares to nothing that I had in the past. See, in the past, everything that I had was always happiness. Happiness. I didn't look for joy. I didn't have to look for joy. I looked for happiness. Thank you, Jesus. But when I came to Christ, I started to see joy. Without even realizing it, because now as I speak to you, I think of it in my favorite song. My favorite song. When I first started coming to church, it's in Spanish, but I, I, I'll bring it to you. But my favorite song was Go So, Go So. And I shared it with Brother Joe, uh, with Brother Joe for, for Thanksgiving. Because it's Go So, Go So, Go So Yo Quería, Pero Lo Buscaba, Donde No Lo Había, Pero Vino Cristo, El Ador de la Vida. Y me dio de gozo de que yo quería. Then it goes again. And I loved it. Yeah. And every Sunday, I sang it. Hallelujah. Because see, the song says, Joy, joy. Gozo, gozo, gozo so yo quería. Joy is what I wanted. Mm -hmm. Pero lo buscaba donde no lo había. But I seeked it where it was not at. Pero vino Cristo, el ador de la vida. But Christ, the giver of life, came into my life and gave me the joy that I see. Amen. And every Sunday, for a whole year, and if you think I'm lying, I'll give you my pastor's number. And he'll tell you. Because he opened the door and he gave a part on Sunday. And every Sunday, people didn't go, but I went up to the front. And I would see. Go so, go so, go so yo quería, pero lo buscaba donde no lo había, pero vino Cristo el ador de la vida y me dio de gozo de que yo quería. And when people would ask me, why do you look so young? I would tell them, fuente de vida, la que yo encontré. See, the fountain of youth is what I found. Because Amen. when I started serving Christ, Amen. age Amen. became nothing but a number. Amen. Amen. See, when you give your life to Christ, yes. you find something. Yes. See, and there's many songs that I can tell y'all. Many songs. See, when I started to the feet to the walk of Christ, it was the songs and the preaching that just kept touching me and touching me. There was another song that just said. Lord, show me the way to purify and cleanse my heart. Yes. And it was in Spanish. And I didn't know that I was Spanish. But I loved it. I loved it. Because through the language that I did not learn to speak young, I learned it the hard way. I understood it, but never really spoke it. And all those songs I told y'all. And I told y'all before. And then my little old Vida was another one. You see? That's where I buried my past. And every time the old man would try to rise up, or push him away. You ain't got no part in this. You were buried. You were drowned. A drowned person can't come back to life. So why do we try to re resuscitate them and bring them back to life when he has no business in your life? Amen. If he was buried, leave him there. Wow. See, you got to learn to keep your peace. And it's never easy. But today I can tell you it's worth it. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Do I suffer? Yes, I do. Do I hurt? Yes, I do. Do I cry? Yes, I do. But do I look to retreat back to the old ways? No, I don't. I vowed when I started in Christ. To give him my own. Amen. 
I vowed for my children to have a better life than I had. I vowed for my grandchildren to have better. And although sometimes we are limited to what we can do, we are not limited to what God wants to do. See, we don't serve a limited God. So stop putting limits on what you can do. And trust in God because he will take you beyond those limits. Amen? Amen. 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 Rise up to your feet. I didn't know God's plans for my life when I gave my life to him. All I knew is that I wanted to be different. And because I was determined to be different, I became different. I no longer viewed the, way, the world's ways for me. But I pushed God's ways on me. And I constantly tell y'all, there is a song for all of us. There is a word for all of us. There is a time for all of us. We have to learn to rejoice with others when they rejoice. No matter what we're dealing with or what our circumstances are. If we hear that someone receives something, we can't sit there and say, God, why not me? What we have to do is say, God, thank you. Thank you for blessing my brother or sister the way that you've blessed them. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, See, that's rejoicing. Amen. Not for yourself, but for others. Because when you learn to rejoice for others, you will receive in abundance. Yeah. When you learn to pray for others, you will see your prayers answered. Because like I said, if I stand here and I pray for y'all, and y'all pray for me, I am receiving more prayers in the heavens than what I am giving. But if we're praying for ourselves, and we're forgetting about the others, we are being selfish. And I'm not saying don't pray for yourself. I'm just saying don't spend too much time for yourself. That's it. Because there's a difference. God is waiting to open the floodgates for you. You just have to be ready to receive. Amen? Amen. Close your eyes. Father God, I come before thy presence giving you all the glory and honor. Thanking you for this opportunity that you have given us, Heavenly Father, to be here in your house once again, rejoicing and praising your name, my God. Lord, as truly as I stand here, I'll speak for everyone. We want to be different. We want to be different in you, Heavenly Father. As this year comes to an end, Heavenly Father. Just simply pray that you continue to watch over us and to give us the strength to enter the new year, Heavenly Father, glorifying your name, praising your name, and giving you thanks under all circumstances, in the good and in the bad. into our lives, Heavenly Father. An eternal joy and peace, my God.
Jesus. 